Hello guys and welcome to the second part of my basic modeling tutorial. Okay, now that we finished, we pretty much finished with the spokes over here, let's go on and make the tire. First let's move this out of the way for a while and let's go for a cylinder for our tires. All right, Something like this. Okay, now we actually need more geometry to this. To this. So, just let's go to inputs and add instead of one, let's put uh, over here in subdivision caps. Let's go with two. All right, all right. Now, let's just right click, click on edge, and let's select these two edge loops around here. You can uh, actually select the whole ring by double clicking on edge and it'll select all of it for you. Alrighty, <clears throat> to actually select the both of them just keep the shift key pressed. Okay, let's resize this a bit. Something along these lines, more or less. Alright, now we need two more edges along here, so what we can actually do is use this tool, insert edge loop tool. All right? You can find it in the polygon submenu, going to edit mesh and just clicking on insert edge loop tool. I've also added it over here on my shelf, this one over here. Alrighty, so let's add two edges over here. Just click on it. Alright. And let's select these ones above over here. Okay, let's resize them a bit. Something along these lines. Something like this. Okay, but I think these should be on the inside, not on the outside. Or at least I think they are. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Next, we actually need to delete these uh, these faces over here. So we can either click on every each one in each, every each and one of them like this, or just press four to go into wireframe and just click and drag around them. All right. Now you just have to press delete, and you're pretty much done. Okay, let's have a look over here. Let's see how this actually looks in uh, high poly. That looks fairly decent, at least for now. Okay, what we need to do next is just uh, sew this part up <coughs> and make way for the actual uh, metal parts on which the spokes actually connect themselves into. Alrighty. So, how do we actually connect these edges? Well, it's pretty simple. We just need to go over here to Edit Mesh and click on a Pen to Polygon tool. Now, what is this tool gonna do? Is basically allow us to create another face between these two edges. You just have to click on edge, click the other one, and press Enter. Same for the other ones. Um, to make it a little more easier, just press G so you can uh, actually reuse uh, the last tool. Alright, so let's just zip this up. This is gonna take a little while, but there you go. Oh, I hate it when this happens. Okay, now that we have this done, let's add a few more edge loops so that we can actually work with this. So, let's add, I don't know, two more. Okay, something like this. Okay. Let's uh, eh, move this a little higher. This one a little lower. Okay. Now, what uh, <coughs> are we gonna do is basically extrude these faces inward, all right, so, so that uh, we can actually get that uh, metal shape in here. 
what extrude does is basically create <coughs> another face. Oh, hell, to hell with it. I'll, I'll just show you. I'll get it. Okay, let's just select these faces. Okay. And then click on this button over here. Or just go to mesh. Is it mesh? Uh, oh, edit mesh and click on extrude. Alright. Now you'll get this tool over here. This is um, the tool that I talked about earlier in my uh, Maya Basics tutorial. This is the tool over here which you can access by pressing T. Alright. Now let's drag this a little inward. Kind of like this. Let's extrude again. Let's resize it a bit. Alright. Something like this. Let's make it a little more interesting actually. Okay. Something like this. Okay. Okay, now that we got this done, let's see how uh, our spokes are gonna look uh, inside of this. Uh, a little high poly look over here, uh, not too shabby. We're gonna edit this uh, a little, f edit that a little further after. Anyway, okay, let's drag this over here. Actually, let's make this a little more simple. Okay. Okay. Right. Let's resize these a bit. Something along these lines. Now let's pull one of them over here and the other one a little lower. This is a little psychedelic if you ask me anyway. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, let's see how this looks. Ah, not too shabby. Uh, we might have to resize this a bit, I think. Kinda like this. Alright. Okay, now let's turn this the right way around. And we're gonna copy it so we can actually do the wheel on the back anyway let's select all of this combine it click on center pivot you can actually find it in under uh, uh, modify under modify and click on center pivot this actually brings us the pivot in the center over here okay let's rotate this Let's see how it looks for a bit. It, it needs a little bit of editing, but no biggie. Okay, now let's duplicate this and put it in the back. Now, as I can see over here, the wheel on the back is somewhat a little smaller in diameter and a lot more fat. So, what are we gonna do is basically separate these by clicking on this button over here alright reselecting these and moving them somewhere around here and let's edit this a bit let's make a little more fat uh, something like this uh, we have a problem though which I didn't see before. This needs to be actually pretty damn even. Uh, I can live with this. Okay. Now, let's actually modify these parts over here. Or, uh, let's make it a little more simple. Um, yeah. Click on one face over here. 
click on another one over here and it will actually select a line from uh, those two faces so we can actually make short work of selecting all of these faces here uh, well, uh, not like that okay Okay, what the anyway yeah, it's finicky like that okay now that we have this selected let's rescale it a bit like this rescale like this a bit uh, maybe a little more something along these lines I think uh -huh. <laughs> okay now let's resize the whole thing and make it a little smaller right let's take a look at this okay let's check it maybe a little maybe a little bit smaller something along these lines okay now let's take this back stick it in here come on work with me Now, if we may have some problems centering this right, so let's go into the four panes view and adjust this accordingly. Something like this, yeah, more or less. Anyway, yeah, that's that's cool. Okay. <coughs> Okay, now I believe this is the end of part 2, so I'll see you guys in part 3. Cheers!